Welcome to my channel guys, Brown Boss JA Tours. So today I'll be covering the first state-of-the-art bread plant here in Montego Bay, St. James by the National Baking Company. Yes people, this will definitely be a game changer here for Montego Bay. I'll start off the video pulling out of Mega Mart and be driving through um, West Green Avenue to the um, new location that will be at lot number one, Bogue Estate catching all st james this will be in close proximity to um as you can see right now ruby's gas station mega mart and other areas like catching hall medical and catching hall auto parts and a whole lot more in um the surrounding area so let me know what you think about this location right now for those of you who know montego bay and for others you can just um use the map and you can see more details on that all right guys i'll be driving through west green avenue to get you to the um, location and i'll give you footage um, around the area around the work area so that you can get a better grasp of the um, location and the work that is going on right now in constructing this bread company all right so just drive with me right now i'm gonna stop shortly so that you can get a view from this end and i'll show you um you know some pics of how the initial stage of the construction look so that's coming up shortly guys all right i'm gonna stop right now all right so there you go this is the angle from west green avenue so this is how it looks guys you know around the um green area close to the stadium so the, those are the actual pictures of the initial stage of construction so yes guys these were taken from the internet so you can see just to give you a better um you know feel of the area and how large it is all right so i was just taking some footage right now at west green avenue as you can see traffic is just going to and fro you know going to um areas like bogue or whether they're going um fairview you know different locations all right guys so let me know what you think about this uh location right now where it's situated but this is the look from west green avenue tell me what you think about this area so far all right and if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet you can do so now brown boss ja tours ensure that you select um all on the notification bell so that you can get all the details as soon as i update them on my channel here all right so i'll take you even closer to the um the construction area so as to give you um a better or closer up look on the construction going on right now at this area here in catching all yes people so a really good look right now for um, montego bay especially the um, western end of the island yeah truly um amazing right now of the the amount of construction and new investment properties being you know installed here for the parish this will not only be limited to montego bay st james but also to other western surrounding parishes and by extension improving exportation of big products to international markets yes people so just to give you a brief um synopsis here of this project the national baking company is investing 6.7 billion on its first state-of-the-art bread plant here in montego bay st james which will be powered partially by robots yes guys i said it here robots all right the project will be completed by brothers concept and solutions limited and it will consist of a building which comprises of two stories it also consists of a retail store and an outdoor parking lot the building will be a steel frame structure that is built up on a pile foundation and when completed will be located at lot number one bogus day catching all st james jamaica the construction here started from back in july 2023 the national baking company is the leading baked goods manufacturer in jamaica it was established back in 1952 and is currently operating as a privately owned company all right guys so i've gotten some information here from different sources mainly the cleaner company the um jamaica observer and also ncb capital markets on the internet at different dates 
So during the company's announcement ceremony at Hilton Hotel and Spa in Rosala, St. James, on January 8, Prime Minister Andrew Holness, the opposition leader Mark Golan, and also National's Managing Director and Chairman Gary Butch Hendrickson were reviewing the plan for the plant being built here in Cachinal, St. James. The entire facility would be a 120,000 square foot plant, which has the capacity to produce over 3,600 loaves per hour, meeting the commitment to deliver fresh products faster. So let me know what you think about that, guys. Truly amazing. 3,600 loaves per hour. Yeah, that's something to talk about. It's set to be completed in 2025 and will enhance the organization's ability to export to places like the USA. So definitely improving the exportation here of baked products. The facility will distribute to St. James, St. Anne, Trelawney, Hanover, Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth. This is part of our ongoing commitment to delivering fresh products to these areas in a shorter time frame. This will be a fast plant, a very efficient plant, that is, Hendrickson told the gathering after a bread break-in ceremony with Prime Minister Andrew Holness and Opposition Leader Mark Golden. Yes, people, so let me know what you think about all of this so far. Definitely a game-changer here for um, Montego Bay St. James. All right, people, so I'll get back on the road right now and to give you um, a closer look of the um, construction going on at this plant. Yes, people. So let me know what you think in the um, comment section. I'm going to stop at the roundabout here and give you a little um, preview, you know, so that you can get a feel of the actual location here in Montego Bay. All right. So just to continue, we are going to open uh, new opportunities of storage, production, um, tonnage and logistics, allowing us to better meet the demands of our growing international markets. Also stated there by Hendrickson in the presence of his parents, Carl and Nell Hendrickson. Most importantly, National will incorporate the use of robotics for the first time in its businesses and with the aim of reducing laborious, repetitive processes. All right, processes that human beings just can't do anymore. So we are going to be maximizing efficiency by using advanced production processes and new generational robotics he stated all right guys um at the location right now on the outside giving you a preview of the um, area close to um catching all plaza that's adjacent to the um location here of the um, bread plant so let me know what you think about this uh, location right now guys and also the introduction of robotics it's something new here in Montego Bay. Well, furthermore, Jamaica. All right, if I'm not mistaken. Just looking at the area, guys. Looks like they wanted some skilled um, workers. You can pause the video to see more about that. Um, by Brothers Concept and Solutions Limited here. Just giving you a preview of the um, work area. All right, so Hendrickson um, noted that Cutting-edge plant robotics will enhance production efficiencies, requiring a highly skilled workforce for the simplified direct jobs it will create. So this will create um, 70, 75 jobs. All right, guys, I'm just going to go across the road to um, Cachinol Plaza so I could give you um, a little aerial view of the um, location so that you can see more about this um, construction. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go upstairs to give you um, a better view. All right, so Hendrickson highlighted that the plant operators will need to be highly qualified, reflecting the specialized skills needed in operating our machinery and manage the intricacies of the plant. We expect them to be high income earners. All right, so definitely something for um job creation here in jamaica 75 direct jobs let me know what you think about that guys in addition to the new plant in montego bay the national baking company uh, ceo said that the company will build a new distribution center in priory st anne and another mandeville another one in mandeville manchester to serve the surrounding areas of these towns 
All right, guys. So with the distribution center in Priory, he said that the company aims to cover areas along the northeast of the island, while the Mandeville distribution will create um, or serve central Jamaica. Both projects are priced at US 12 million or US 6 million each, or about 1.9 billion and each plant will be about 40,000 square feet. So right now on your screen, you're seeing images taken online of how this bread company would actually look when completed. So let me know what you think about the overall look right now on your screen. So let me know what you think about all of this, uh, my people, about, you know, the location of this plant here in Montego Bay the introduction of robotics definitely something to talk about so let me know your thoughts here in the uh, comment section just gonna just show you guys you know around the area from this area of view from Cachinau Plaza just to give you a feel of the um, location all right guys if you haven't subscribed as yet now is the time to do so brown boss J A tours all right keep that comment section interactive as this is something that we need to talk about all right, guys, but a lot in store here for Montego Bay, and I'll continue to give you updates as they become available. Brown Boss JA Tours, signing out. Peace.